The equipment covered in this presentation should be installed, used, and serviced only by competent personnel familiar with and following good work and safety practices. This equipment is for use by such personnel and is not intended as a substitute for adequate training and experience in safe procedures for this type of equipment. These instructions do not cover all details or situations in equipment use, nor do they provide for every possible contingency to be encountered in relation to installation, operation, or maintenance. For additional information and details, or for specific situations not covered adequately for the user's purpose, refer the specifics to the A.B. Chance Company. Strap Hoist Link Stick Electrical Tests from the A.B. Chance Company. These tests place typical distribution level voltages across a nylon strap hoist. The meter displays the leakage current peak in each case. Notice that leakage increases significantly as the strap length is shortened. Remember, too, that the strap is brand new, free of conductive contamination that builds up from field use. Now, raising the test circuit to 14.4 kV, leakage nearly doubles at the 6-foot length. Likewise, at the three-foot length. And similarly, with one foot of strap extended. At the third and highest circuit in this test series, the six-foot strap carries more than twice the leakage it did at 7.62 kV. Shortening the strap to three feet doubles the leakage current again. And it redoubles once more when the voltage is applied across the one-foot length of clean, dry strap. Now, we'll rerun the same test in sequence after wetting the strap with tap water spray each time. Notice the meter scale has been adjusted to display milliamps now. That means these readings are of a magnitude 1,000 times greater than those in the previous tests under dry conditions. Whether the strap burns through is not the all-telling evidence these tests provide. Most importantly, they confirm that a nylon strap hoist by itself is not a so-called hot hoist. As the leakage current monitored on the meter shows, the strap conducts a significant current flow in every test, wet or dry. When the strap does part, as it does in some of these tests, it is important to remember that there was no mechanical tension being applied. 
The load hook alone is the only weight on the strap. The ground lead connected to it is all that keeps the hook from swinging free. This last series of wet tests at 20 kV shows quite well how the voltage drop across the strap and the accompanying current flow dries out the moisture which initially adds conductivity to the path. After the arcing activity begins, the continued electrical stresses bring the strap to its kindling point, and catastrophic failure eventually results with predictable certainty. At the one-foot length, the wet strap competes with the short air gap as alternate paths to ground. The dramatic conclusion to this test should burn into memory for all hotline maintenance this one guideline. For sufficient insulation from conductors energized at distribution levels, do not depend on a nylon strap hoist alone. But there is a simple way to control leakage. Just adding an insulating epoxy glass link stick to the hoist strap greatly reduces leakage current, even under the worst case conditions in these last two tests, subjecting the shortest strap length to the highest test voltage. Notice the meter now is reading in microamps, or millions of an ampere. Whether dry or wet, with the link stick added, leakage stays extremely low. Notice, too, that no catastrophes occur, just as we like it on electrical system lines. This comparative series of tests has graphically demonstrated the benefits of using epoxy glass link sticks whenever strap hoists are employed on energized lines. All tests were conducted in the High Voltage Laboratory at the Chance Engineering Research Center in Centralia, Missouri.